Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 14 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about few useful functions which will work with array type columns. In our last video, we have discussed about what is array type column and how to create it and other things. So this video is continuation to the previous video. So on top of array type columns, what kind of few most commonly used Use, useful functions we can use in real time so that is what we are going to discuss in this video so explode split array array contains these are like widely used functions when you work with array type columns actually so i would like to cover these functions in this video actually so please watch my previous video before watching this video so that you will get most out of it and also all the videos in my channel are in my playlist are in the sequence order so please watch them in the same order so that you will get most out of it. So let's jump into this video. Let's first try to understand this explode column. So before explaining this explode column, let me try to create one data frame that has few columns and one column with uh, array type also. So let me go back to my browser. This is my Databricks account. Let me go to workspace, users, Mahir and here. Let me try to create a new notebook and this notebook name I want to name it like maybe array type functions notebook. Okay, so this is what the name I want to give and this is the cluster name. This is Python different language. So let me hit create button to create the notebook. So my notebook got created. So if you watch my previous video, you know what is array type column, right? So I'm not going in detail about it. So please watch it. So let me take some data here. And let, to, let me try to create a data frame here. So this is a list of tuples. Let's try to have two rows at least. And maybe ID 1. Then name is Mahir. Then I want to have an array which holds the list of skills maybe. Uh, or array of skills. So Mahir is a, like a .NET and then Azure. So these are the skills of Mahir. Let's assume. Okay. Similarly, second row will be like date. Sorry, 2, ID 2. Wafa then skills i want to be like a array so first skill may be java and then another skill may be aws okay amazon services so that's fine so now let's try to create a schema variable which defines the column names to it so id column we have then name column we have then we have skills column maybe okay skills okay then let's so you know this spark keyword will give you spark session object on top of it we have create data frame function that will help you to create a data frame we are passing schema variable and a data variable to this function to create a data frame accordingly so that a data frame i am storing into a variable called df so once it is done i can use df.show or i can also use display function and pass my data frame and also what i can do i can use diff df dot there is something called print schema function that will actually print the schema so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and let's make sure i have created one array type column or not you can see skills column is array type here it is clearly mentioned here and now if you see the data frame also we got two rows first row is mahir second row is uh, wafa and skills is array at zero index we have dot net and at first index we have azure when it comes to second row at zero index we have java at fund is first index we have AWS. So this is all good. So now let's go back to our presentation. So we are about to discuss about this explode function. So what this function will do is it will create a new row for each element in a array column. So for example, if I go back here and let me minimize these arrays here. If you see here, I have two arrays. Okay. And uh, this is one array and this is one array. Okay. And this array has two elements and this array has two elements. So what are those elements here? Dot net is one element and then Azure is another element. Similarly, here we have Java is one element, AWS is another element. So this is clear, right? Now, if I use explode function, it is going to create a row for every element. So for dot net, one row, for Azure, one row, for Java, one row, for AWS, one row. It will create like that. So that means if you see the end result, it will have one Mahir, then dot net, then again one Mahir, then Azure. Similarly, two Wafa, then Java, 
then 2 of a then aws so this is how it will create the result let me practically show you that so this data frame created so far here that is good now what i will be doing it here is let's try to use data frame dot show here and then below to it data frame dot on top of data frame we can use with column function in the with column function uh, i want to modify this uh, skills column only so okay so skills column only i want to modify we have a skills column right i am going to modify it or let the skills columns like that let's try to create another column called skill and here in this uh, value so whatever the expression i write here now that is going to take the value into this new column right so here i want to use explode function actually so to import the explode function as i shown in the uh, presentation you need to ex get this explode function from the pyspark dot sql dot functions uh, library actually and once you get it to the explode function you need to pass your array type column that's it it will do the job let me practically show you that so here what i will be doing it here is so let me try to import from from pyspark dot sql dot functions let me try to import there is something called explode function so let's try to explode this one and now i am using this explode function here and on top of this explode function i should pass my column so i want to pass my column which is skills right so if you see skills is the column which holds the array so that is what i am passing and this call function also we have to actually import so let me import that as well so now whatever this entire code will do it will actually create a new data frame so that data frame let me save it into df1 and then here below df1 dot show so i am showing both data frame before and data frame after explode function so let me hit shift enter now and let's see the results here so my command is running here now if you see before explode function we have skills column where we have array of values now i have a skill column where i have every element as a new row so that is the reason the other rows all these rows all this row will be repeated multiple times because this array has a two elements it repeated two times you can see here because every element will get one new row similarly here also so we got two rows for wafa as well why because we have two skills and we exploded it okay so i hope you got it what is explode function now you can give a try to it similarly this split function also very commonly used actually so this function will actually help you to split one string into array type let me practically show you that so here if you see here we have id1 mahir and we have a string which holds the skills by comma separated values same goes here as well in the second row now what we are doing we are using a split function and we are splitting this skills column based on comma so it will split it into three elements one element this is second element this is third element similarly first element second element third element so all these three elements will become a part of array and that entire column will become array type actually let me practically show you that as well so let me go to my databricks workspace and here this time what i will be doing is here is so let me close this cell i, I no longer needed it we have already discussed explode function and now here what i will be doing it i don't want to use array as a value here so let me try to use something like this dot net and azure as a comma separated values okay so from here the string ends and let me remove this comma also so dot net comma azure comma separated value okay and similarly here the skill is java and then aws okay we don't want this curly braces so this is a string and this is also string okay and we have the schema variable id name and skills and then creating data frame and displaying it and printing the schema let me run this and see what will happen so my command is running here now if you see skills is a string type you can see the same here also and we got the values like this now what i will be doing i will be using a split function and i will be splitting this string based on comma and the splitted values will be become part of array and a new column will be created which is array type let me practically show you that so here right so firstly from same thing from pyspark dot from pyspark dot sql dot functions let's try to import split function so this is split function we have to import and also let's try to import this call function as well and then so let me try to show the uh, data frame whatever we have previously and then on top of data frame let's try to add with column function to add a new column 
and here I will be naming like skills array. Okay, this is the column name, and here here I will be using this split function. To the split function, I have to supply a column name, and we can supply a pattern also. So let me use this split function, and here I can supply my column. My column is skills. If you see skills is the column which holds my skills as a comma separated values. So column I passed and then I have to supply the separator also. So based on comma you separate the value. So now what it will do? It will create a new column called skills array in which you have a array type values. That array type values will be created by dividing this string into multiple elements. Let me practically show you that. So let's use a df1 as a variable name here to hold this new data frame. And then let's try to use df1 dot show. Now if I hit shift enter, command is running. Now if you closely observe the result, you can see previously we have like this skills column. Now I have skills array column which holds the values in a array fashion. You got it right. So this is how the split function also will be used to create a array type columns. Not only that, in my previous video also I discussed about this array function. So what it will do, it will take the values and it will merge the values into a array. Uh, so for example here if you see I have a column called primary skill and I have a column called secondary skill. So primary skill holds one value, secondary skill holds one value. Now on top of it I can use this uh, array function to create a new column which is array type by combining this value into array. So let me practically show you this as well. So let's go back to our data factory, uh, sorry our uh, Databricks workspace here and then let me close this cell where I have explained about the split function and then let me go back here and this time what I will be doing it here so dot net is one value then azure is another value similarly java is one value then aws is one value now I will be so we have four columns so primary skill and then let's try to have another skill called secondary skill okay so now if I run this by hitting shift enter I will be seeing two rows and we have four columns primary skill and secondary skill so these are the string types so far it is good now what i will be doing i will be using array function so let me try to import that from pyspark dot sql dot functions import array so let's try to import this array function and also let's try to import this column function as well and then what i will be doing it here is so firstly let's try to show the data frame which we have right now and then on top of data frame we are using with column function so on top of in the with column function i will be creating a new column called skills maybe skills array and then here i will be using this array function to the array function i can pass my columns so i want to combine this primary skill column let me copy this column name then another second column name will be secondary skill so let me take this secondary skill column name as well let me paste it here so this entire code creates a new data frame so let me save it into df1 and then on top of df1 let me try to use this show function now let me hit shift enter to execute this code and now if you see we have a skills array column which has combined values of these two columns as a array type so this is the previous data frame and this is the new data frame after applying this array function okay so now let me close this one as well and let's go back to our presentation so we got an idea about array function now and lastly there is something called array contains function so this function will actually help you to check if any given element is there or not if it is there it will return true if it is not there then it will return false and if it, it will return null also when array itself is null okay so let me practically show you that if you see here we have a array dot net comma azure java comma aws and in it i want to create a new column called has java skill and i want to check if a column if a row has a java skill in it then that should be uh, denoted as true or else it should be denoted as false actually so let me practically show you this here now so let's go back to our uh, databricks workspace and here let's try to modify this default data frame once again so it is actually a array so array starts here and array ends here and also this is this is also like array of skills okay starts here ends here 
and I have only three columns now ID, name, and I have another column called skills, which holds array type values. Okay, so now let me hit shift enter to execute this and show you that once. So we got two rows, skills is array, and we can see the same thing here skills is array. Okay, so far it is good. Now I want to have another column which will give me values like true or false based upon some particular skill is there or not. So that means some particular element in array is there or not. So let's try to do that. So for that, let me try to firstly import the same thing. So from PySpark.SQL.Functions, let's try to import. So there is something called array contains function. Also, let's try to import column also. So let me try to display data frame currently. And then let's try to use a with column. And a new column name should be like has Java skill. So that means if a given employee has a java skill or not that's what i am checking so how i can check i can check it in the skills array right so skills is a array right so i will use this array contains function and to the function what i can pass i can pass this as i shown in the slide i can pass in which skill that means array type column here you should pass in this array check this value so what i can do here so using column function i am passing my skills column so inside this skills column array check for value java if it is there then give me true or else give me false so this entire code will create a new data frame so let me save it in data frame one and then let me try to show this data frame one also now if i hit shift enter you will see the results clearly see skills has first row has dotnet azure skill second row has java aws now this row is telling me so java is not there here so this guy don't have java skill so this column value will become false here but this guy has a java skill so this column value will become true here so this is how this array contain function will actually help you so one more thing before winding up this video so at given any given point of time if you don't know how to write the syntax for this function or anything so what you do you always try to use that help function to see the documentation of it for example firstly import the function and then here i can use the help function and i can pass my function name to the help function to see the documentation of it if i hit shift enter if you see the result see here it clearly says it will take two parameters and first parameter what kind of data i can pass in the second parameter what kind of data i can pass and also it has a clear examples also written here so these examples and this explanation will help you to understand how to write code or how to pass values into this function and all so i always do that i will see the documentation and then i will start using those functions in my actual code okay so please have a habit of checking the documentation regularly whenever you don't know something so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much